Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. 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 How Green. are you this evening? Fine. <laughs> oh, good. What's new? Nothing new. Mm, nothing new. <laughs> All the same. It's all, all in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, Somebody no. working. Mm -hmm. Some people are working. Ah, some people are working. Right. Hey, um, but I saw some people from El Salvador went to the beach these days. What happened with that? Um, no, um, and this time, mm -hmm. that's not happened. Oh, it's not happening. Yeah. Okay. Well, are you ready for tonight's class? I think yes. so. You think? And did you do yeah. the midterm? Yes. How did you do? You had a good result? Yes. Uh, in the second part, I have problem, but mm -hmm. after one hour, I, I <laughs> oh no, you could have asked me that. We will check the midterm tonight anyway. But okay. yeah, let me share here with you. And let's continue with things we have to finish and then um, we will check the exam, all right? Stress and rhythm. We saw this, right? Stress and rhythm? No. No? No. Yeah, this is like, what's next? Usually give money to the bride and groom. All right, let's see it. Pronunciation. Stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello, everyone. Now at a shrine. Okay, so you guys have to emphasize the important words more. Okay. For example, if I tell you, look at this, guys. Look at this pretty quickly. Hold on. Okay. If I tell you, we're going to take those words that you're supposed to emphasize, all right? People, married, Japan, sometimes, ceremony, shrine. Okay, if you read this, People marry Japan sometimes, ceremony shrine. Do you understand the message? Kind of? No? <laughs> uh, what What mean shrine? Oh, shrine is, I'll show you the place. We saw this in one of the articles, look, shrine. This is a shrine. It's like a sort of a temple in Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a shrine. So if I tell you, people marry Japan, sometimes ceremony, shrine. You understand, right? Because you have to yeah. emphasize the words with the message. And the words that are not so important, you don't emphasize them. All right, listen to that and repeat. I will play for you and then repeat, okay? They sometimes have in Japan, people get married in rhythm. Listen. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Go ahead. Everybody repeat. Okay, one more time and then repeat. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. When people get married, okay, I will have you read. Claudia, go ahead. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have ceremony at the shrine. At a shrine, very good. Amilcar? Shrine. 
When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Shrine. A shrine. Very good. So make sure you emphasize important words. That is the point of this. All right. Read the objective, please. Lenny. By the end of this class, you will be exposed to adverbial clauses of time, what they are and the errors they use. Yes, thank you. Adverbial clauses of time. Okay, please pay attention, get your notebook so you can take notes. Let's watch right now. Hi. I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is a subject, comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. Okay, guys, the important thing here is that we're gonna be using words like, I know it sounds confusing, but it's not so difficult, all right? Don't worry about it. We simply have, have to learn how to use words like when, when, before, and after, okay? It's easy. If you notice here, <clears throat> we have before, right? Before she went to school, she finished homework. So you're putting two ideas together and before is helping us. But that is, that's simple, right? It shouldn't be so difficult. Anyway, I can give you another example. When, Tell me an example starting with when, guys. When we, tell me something. Benjamin, when we, help me out. Um. For example, okay, I will give you the beginning and you guys help me finish it. When we finish class, comma, we need another idea, what else? When we finish class, we. We need, we need, we need complete our homework. Ah, we need our homework completed. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's one. Or for example, when we finish class, we will go to bed, right? 
<laughs> it's like, yes, I'm waiting for that moment. <laughs> so it's simple as that, okay? For example, after, look, I recently took a shower, guys. So you say, after I take a shower, comma, I teach classes sometimes. No, not always, just tonight. After I take a shower, I teach classes. I was not looking. Okay, so pretty simple. Look at the rest of the examples, okay? And then you will practice. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. Okay, that is another example. So we have seen the only thing we have seen um, when, what else? I gave you three examples, guys. When, before, what else? Or after. 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 Okay, what preposition, what are there real close? Can you see here? Starting with S. Finds. Sense. Sense, right. Sorry. Okay. Sense. So you can put it at the beginning or at the end. All right. For instance, I can tell you. Same example. Okay. When we finish class, we will go to bed. Okay. Can I put this when in the middle? How can I do that? Carla de Marin? Put it in the middle, please. How? How can you do that? Okay, I, I need this. I need you to put this when in between by moving the sentences. Somebody wants to help her? I think we will go to the bed when we finish the class. Yes, that is the answer. Very good. So you see when here is at the in the middle and there is no difference in meaning. All right, so these, you can put them at the beginning or in the middle. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, very good. All right, that's about it. Now we are gonna practice. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's do this exercise all together. One, two, three, four, five. It's not so long. And we were talking about getting married, right? <clears throat> so, number one, go ahead. Um, who's not, who has participated? Hold on. Rebecca Monterrosa, number one. Sorry? They date each other for about a year. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yes, okay. Um, okay. Uh, we don't we we don't have multiple answers. Uh, really? Uh, <laughs> Section How? Three point thirteen. <laughs> yeah, before a man and woman get married, they usually pay for the wedding and and reception, begin being uh. to plan the <laughs> wedding. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, you only have one option. But yeah. That that's that sounds an option. Oh yeah, yeah. We have more than one correct answer, you're right. But that's the answer. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Number two, Eduardo. Eduardo, I hadn't seen you in so long. 
Where have you been? The number two, when a couple gets engaged, the man Engage. often. Engaged. Engage. Mm -hmm. What is a man engaged? Uh, com comprometerse. Oh. Yeah, Eduardo, if you give a ring to your girlfriend, then you're engaged. Uh, not, I don't have teacher. Okay, well. <laughs> I prefer to, to stay alone. <laughs> One day, whenever you give somebody a ring, you will be engaged. <laughs> so, what's the okay. answer? Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's <laughs> uh, give the woman a diamond ring. Uh, a diamond. Diamond. Diamond ring. ring. Whose dog is that? Gives. Eduardo's not right. Give it, give it. Give the, the, the woman, woman a diamond ring. Diamond, diamond. Diamond ring. Number yeah. three, Stephanie. Right after a couple gets in the in, ah, I see my girl. Engaged. <laughs> Engaged, they usually. Uh, mm. Be to plan the wedding. Okay, let's see number four. Begin to plan the wedding. Great. Number four is Juanjo. When, the, when a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. Thanks for the wedding. Not in El Salvador, right? No. <laughs> uh -uh. Different. Yeah, I it's have different. to pay. <laughs> A mí me tocó this. <laughs> I had to pay for that. <laughs> Number five, Irania. When people are invited to wedding, they are invited. Like... Invited? Uh, they almost always. <coughs> always. Uh, give the bride and groom a gift of some money. Okay. Let's check. Number six, Delia. Right after a couple gets married, they usually um go on a short trip kayak or honeymoon honeymoon okay. let's see honeymoon mm -hmm. and everything should be right hopefully let's see fine yes everything is good all right good job everyone all right uh, before we continue, I would like you to I would like you to have a discussion, but first let's watch a video, right? It's not part of the platform, it's just additional information. Right, look. We're gonna talk about dating. What is the meaning of dating, guys? Cita. Cita. No, that is, okay, this is important vocabulary for you guys. <laughs> Go on a date is ir a una cita, okay? Pero date somebody es andar con alguien, o sea, ser, ser pareja. That, is, that means when you're boyfriend and girlfriend and, and you hug and, and you kiss, okay? That's, that means that you're dating, all right? <laughs> so that is the stage. We're going to talk about that right now, okay? Uh, talk about the dating stages. This is to give you inspiration before our debate. All right, so we're gonna watch some stages. All right, this one. Please write down the eight stages and then I will ask you to explain the stages. So pay attention and take notes. Ready? Right. Yes, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
During the first couple of dates, in the time between these meetups, the days seem to rush by in a blur of passion and excitement. We're so caught up in the thrill of meeting someone new that we can't even step back and process what's going on. Although we might feel lost in this whirlwind of emotions, our relationships usually stick to a pretty common formula. Here are a few stages that almost all relationships will follow. The first stage, attraction. Our relationships first begin when we set eyes on our new partner. Although we haven't started dating yet, we feel an undeniable pull towards this enchanting new person. At this point, you might walk up and introduce yourself. Who knows, you might even start flirting, dropping a compliment here and there. And in 2019, this initial stage might not even take place in person. Many people meet someone new on social media or through a dating app. The second stage, learning more about them. Once we're attracted to someone, we usually feel a desire to learn more about them. Sometimes we discover more about this person through conversation, and sometimes we learn more about them after checking out their social media profiles. Better yet, we might even ask mutual friends for more juicy details about this new person. All of this new information helps us decide whether or not they're a good fit. The third stage, building comfort and trust. In an article published by Oxford's Department of Experimental Psychology, comfort and trust was identified as a major stage in all relationships. This is when both partners start to let their guards down, testing the waters to see if the relationship might be stable and sustainable in the future. During this stage, it helps if partners are honest, non-violent, and forgiving. Interestingly, Oxford researchers stated that physical touch is incredibly effective when it comes to building trust. The fourth stage, actually going on dates. At this point, we go on dates regularly. In previous stages, we might have been a little unsure about our partners, but now we've settled into a comfortable rhythm of dating and consistently enjoying each other's company. As we date more and more, both partners build a stronger connection based on mutual interests, trust, and attraction. By the end of this stage, we're comfortable with being vulnerable around them. The fifth stage, seduction. According to that same Oxford study, seduction is one of the final stages of a relationship. This is where we truly open ourselves to the possibility of passionate intimacy. According to Oxford researchers, women need more time to develop this emotional connection when compared to men. But when we reach this stage, we stop thinking of ourselves as singular beings. Instead, we start to become one with our partners. We feel their emotions and understand their experiences on a deeper level, as if they were our own. The sixth stage, the honeymoon phase. Most of our viewers are probably familiar with this phase of a relationship. In the first six months or so, everything seems new in a relationship, and this could be explained by scientific studies. Researchers tested nerve growth factors and cortisol levels of couples within the first few months of a relationship. These levels were very high, resulting in feelings of euphoria and reduced stress. But when they tested those same levels 12 to 24 months later, the levels had returned to normal. This suggests that relationships are only truly tested after the honeymoon stage is over and the physiological love cocktail has worn off. The seventh stage, the doubting phase. This is the make or break stage for relationships. Doubts usually start to creep in after a few years and making it this far is a real accomplishment, but the biggest hurdle is yet to come. You need to overcome all of these doubts if you want the relationship to succeed. Partners might start worrying about the unknown future, their individual career paths and interests, and whether or not their partner fits into all of this. If it's not meant to be, it'll become obvious during this stage. In this current age of social media, it's very easy to start comparing our own relationships to other perfect couples we see online. This makes the stage of doubts even tougher to get through in 2019. The eighth stage, commitment and stability. Once you reach this stage, you're home free. After many, many years, you're completely and unconditionally in love with each other. You know each other better than any other person on earth, and you regularly find yourself predicting each other's actions and knowing what to say to comfort your partner during stressful times. Most importantly, you don't take each other for granted. You're happy with the direction of the relationship, and you might even start building projects and creating things together. Who knows? Maybe a family? 
Let us know if you agree with our eight stages of dating. If we've left anything out, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Okay. Mm. This is to give you inspiration. Did you know all of these details about dating? Or is that new information for you? No, <laughs> to me, it's not new. <laughs> Not new. It's not new. Do you no. agree with those stages? Yeah. Um, in this moment, for mm -hmm. me, I am in the A stage. <laughs> wow, you've made it so far. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, the video is for inspiration and also to get some vocabulary, okay? But the real conversation, we're going to have it right now. Check what's up, guys. We're going to discuss some questions to practice speaking because our topic is, you know, right? Marriage, uh, dating. So, anyway, I will send you the image right now. One second. Okay. So, this is the, these are the questions. You got them? about dating okay great we're gonna discuss in small groups of three all right just to practice speaking here we go there it is accept the invitations please discuss the questions go ahead Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Mm, so so. Why? Um, they very study uh, all day <laughs> in the morning. How many classes? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's forget about that for a second and let's focus on, on love right now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, let's discuss the questions then. Okay, what is the first one, Stephanie? What is the best place in your city to take a date? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Barol, will you here in Metapan? Excuse me? Oh, in this group live in Metabon? I don't know. The majority, I think. Marvin? I live in, in Metabon. No, Vladimir? Me yes. too. Zaira? What about you? No, I, I, live, I live in San Salvador. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, in San Salvador. Salvador planet de render, <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, should be the park, the principal park. Um, or I, I know Sorry? Can you hear you? We lost him. Okay, yeah. but you guys can continue, all right? What was the question? The first. Uh -huh. Where is the best place in your city to take a date? Okay. Irania? In my case, it's um, Monte Cristo Park. Oh, Ooh, you have to go all the way to Monte Cristo <laughs> with a date. <laughs> In my case, I prefer in, in the night, in the cinema, in, uh -huh. or visited uh, places for too many trees or a place alone. Uh, uh -huh. Like a quiet place. Yes, it's possible. All right. I, uh, my favorite place is, is cinema. 
I prefer to go to the cinema. And yeah, always. it's always a good day to go to the cinema, I think. Okay, what's the second question, Irani? <laughs> they close the restaurant <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> They cook the uh, uh, um, I cooking in house. <laughs> yeah. It's a date. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Three questions. How common are blind dates? How do you say common? Common. Common? Yeah. Uh -huh. How common are blind a real date in your country. Uh-huh. But it's common. Common. Uh -huh. oh, okay, thank you. And <laughs> blind? Blind is when you cannot oh, see. Uh -huh. Ciegas? Yes. Okay. Pensé que era como blindado. La cita blindada. Can you imagine that? <laughs> More when you go over the street with your girlfriend, and she says, Oh, look, this chocolate is <laughs> very delicious. You, you can stand your pocket, and now you're having money. <laughs> Come on, buy the chocolates for your girlfriend, Juanjo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, chocolate and maybe candies. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'll listen to you for a second. What's the next question? Number, number three. How, how common are blind dates in your country? For a period of time, maybe like yes. two or three months or more, and um, you can know about her or him. Okay, and then Richard. Um, I think uh, share with her uh, to is a week uh, because. Uh, conversation for cell phone and then go to yeah. a, any place but you know a little bit of this person yeah i think here is in el salvador is not common because for the violence oh yeah 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 because of the violence bloody because of the violence and the okay. pandemic now. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. The next is uh, if mm, what is the best way to meet boyfriends or girlfriends? Girls? What is the best way to meet boyfriends or girlfriends? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's the best way, guys. You answer because I I have a wife, so I don't gonna <laughs> find a girlfriend. So. <laughs> but but you you can tell us uh how you know your wife? I know my wife in... I, I met my wife? I met my ah, wife. Met, Sorry. Right? I met my wife when I study. When I was my, studying? Yeah. And I'm studying in the Instituto Biblico. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, wow. So I look her and I say, yeah, she's from... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's so romantic. But just a little problem because she have a boyfriend when I see her, so uh -huh. I have to wait 
the perfect moment and I got it. I got her. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That was nice. And mm -hmm. for me, for me, the the best uh, way to know somebody is uh, in person. Uh, for example, um, in my case, I know my girlfriend. I met. And I met, I met my girlfriend in the the park of Metapan. Yeah. Um, and the common area uh, with, um, I don't know what it means, uh, Juegos de Niños? In the playground. In the play, play, mm -hmm. play, playground, yeah? Yes, playground, playground. Okay, okay. Um, we have children's and, well, I, I have two little girls. She have one little girl and um, they met in the playground and we have started to talking. <laughs> uh, they use a lot of makeup. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, what is the best way to meet boyfriends or girlfriends? <laughs> Maybe first you have to to be friends before to to be boyfriends or girlfriends. Maybe you have to be friends. That is a good answer, but I think this uh, when you know all time the this person, <laughs> you I think you can. Have mucha confianza, no sé cómo dice. You can be comfortable. Ah, así. Be, be comfortable. Be comfortable. Comfortable, yeah. Comfortable. Oh. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. Solo Spanish. No, no, no. English only, al revés. <laughs> no problem, but yeah. <laughs> Let me hear you. En la siguiente puse en español e inglés. Describe your uh, ideal date. <laughs> Describe your ideal date. Yes. Yeah. Uh, pero ideal day um, for, sí, for ideal, your ideal date. Mm, okay, for example, sí, ideal. you go to the park and have a picnic, for example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, teacher, si, si conociera nuestras historias de noviazgo <laughs> allá en la gasolinera. <laughs> I know. <laughs> con unos nachos. <laughs> 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 Hace mucho, mucho. <laughs> so, Miss Delia, your, your dates were in the gas station. <laughs> yes. Your first um, date? Or in the park or in the church. O sea, eh, <laughs> anticuado, de verdad. <laughs> yeah, well, but you, you, you went to the movies, uh, to the movie theater, right? To a shopping mall, right? In the street, in la calle. I o sea, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Afuera de la casa, en la calle, sentadito, platicando nada más. O sea, in the school? In the school, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, no. <laughs> 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 It's not oh, emotion. Yeah, not romantic <laughs> at all. No. <laughs> Con, teacher. Uh -huh. No podía ni besar a mi novio en frente de mi mamá porque me colgaban. And how old were you? How old Se were you? ¿Cuántos años tenía? How old were you? Ah, eh, 18 años. Yo no podía besar a, yo no podía besar a mi novio. En frente de mi mamá, porque mi mamá se enojaba la primera vez que lo hice. Solo me hizo una mirada y yo ya sabía que yo no lo tenía que hacer. Y con eso, 
con el de los sí. 18. Ah, oh, sí. Oh, that's good. And you, Rebecca, what's your ideal date? She's different. <laughs> yes, actuality. <laughs> Current. The relationship actual. Because they're younger than me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I think my ideal date would be uh, on the beach during the sun, during the sun with my boyfriend, I think. We can understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, we cannot understand. Okay, I think my ideal date will be an, at the beach during the sun. Ah, okay. Beach. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. That's a good one. Wow. Really <laughs> romantic. Yes. Ah, qué bella. We drink coffee. Uh, sweet coffee. Good day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good day. And uh, what is the best or what is the worst? <laughs> I, I don't remember. I don't have this memory. I I delete all. <laughs> I have a memory. <laughs> you reset your brain. <laughs> you deleted all the information. Okay? <laughs> wow. Okay, we're gonna go back now. Okay. Okay. Did you enjoy the conversation? Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Some of you did. Was interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm glad. Some people tell me, teacher, I needed more time to finish speaking. <laughs> they love talking about dating. Okay, well, that was interesting. I'm going to share with you so that we can continue working on the platform, all right? Going back to reality. Not in our imaginations anymore, but reality right now. <laughs> okay. <It's sad. laughs> uh, yeah. Read the, <laughs> read the objective, please, Marvin. Hi, teacher. Hi, read the objective, please. Le uh in this in in this class you will practice your reading skill for better understanding when scanning for specs information and uh -huh. and understand rings or rings under understanding understanding rings word understanding reference words okay thank you this is what we have to do guys we are gonna read the article you know how right you have to practice your reading and pronunciation bloody <laughs> he was yawning <laughs> all right you're gonna read this one paragraph per person uh, pairs answer the question so <laughs> no he What's was yawning fun, he was yawning uh, when he told me, don't tell them. Yes, yeah. please, teacher. <laughs> All right, so read one <laughs> paragraph each, and when you finish, answer the questions. Is that clear? Yes, clear. All right, section 3.15. Practice. Let's practice our reading skills. Here we go. In pairs. Hold on. Uh, Accept the invitation, please. I'm sending it right now. Let's get reading. Share the image, teacher, please. Okay, sure. Let's see how. Hey, Daniel, Lisette, let's accept the invitation.
Irania, you didn't get an invitation. <laughs> Accept it, please. Hold on. I will send you the invitation again. Mm, no, I can't. Okay, I sent it again. Hello, did you guys start? I don't yeah. have a picture. Okay, I sent it, but try to go to the platform anyway. Section Did you three. Section okay. three. 315. I have it. All right, great. And I also sent the image. But yes, open the platform, guys, so that you can answer the questions. Of the lunar calendar, Korean Seder Ray Chuso, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their grave. It's a day one. For projects, for their animals, the Protect. breeding, the torture, Brilliant. but before the animals, but before mm -hmm. going to the church, the people, Korean families honor their ancestry by going to the, their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the groceries. Okay. Long ago in India, a princess who need help sent her silk bracelet to mm -hmm. an emperor although he did not arrive in time to help her. He keep the bracelet everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends and families meet for parties, which last until the next morning. Okay. On the evening of Feb February 3rd, People in Japan Sorry, celebrate. Benjamin say February, February 3rd. Feb, February. February 3rd. Yes. Okay. Teacher, hello. Hi, you cannot hear Rebecca. I forget that I am, yeah. I have the camera on. Uh, no, it's not a problem. I was just messing with you. <laughs> it's not okay. A <laughs> uh, we continue practice the paragraph or complete the exercise? Exercise. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Of winter and the beginning of spring. This is now as Setsubun. I think so. Family members threw dried beans around their homes, shooting. Locking evil spirit out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of the age. My God. We end. Okay, the question. In the beginning of the spring, this is known as. Family members throw dry beans around their homes, shooting, good looking, evil spirits out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat and one bean for each year of their age. Okay. Very good.
Okay, here we are. Let's wait on everyone else. Hold on. Let me see if somebody's missing. Breakout rooms. Oh, no, okay, that's it. Try it down. So, did you finish? Yes. All right, I'm gonna ask you one by one if you have finished the midterm, all right? Juan, will you finish the midterm? Yes, teach. Vladi, and, and what score? Que puntaje? What score did you get? No, I don't finish yet. You haven't finished? Vladimir, no, all right. Yes, I... Vladi, okay. Uh, Michelle? No, I don't. You haven't? All right. Lenin? Yes, I do. I did it. You did it, Carla? I can't hear you. You're on mute. You. you haven't? No. <laughs> All right. Eduardo? Yes, I finished. You finished? Uh, Stephanie? No, teacher. No? All right. Benjamin? Um, no, teacher. Oh, my gosh. Why, guys? <laughs> so many people haven't finished. <laughs> Zaida? Yes, teacher. All right. Good. Marvin? No teacher. Okay, Richard. Yes, I finished. You finished, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Amilcar? Yes. Good, Delia? No, all right. Irania? You finished the midterm? Not yet. Rebecca? Yes. You finished, good. Lisette? Yes, finished. All right, good. So only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people are pending. Yes, guys, we have to finish that. That was supposed to be done on the weekend. El fin se suponía que lo terminaron. What happened? <laughs> yeah, all right. So please, we already finished the uh, section three. You have to do the midterm, okay? Tomorrow in class, I will check and see if you have answers. If you have difficulties with the midterm, we will check tomorrow, okay? But please, right now, the ones who are pending, can you please finish it right now? It's the next part. Justo acabamos. La, después de la lectura está ya el midterm, okay? Quédense un ratito después de clase haciéndolo así ya. Salimos de eso. Mañana yo pensé que la... lo que acababa... ¿Ah? Teacher, yo pensé que lo que acabábamos de hacer si sí lo habíamos terminado, pero lo de la plataforma sí yo terminé hasta el examen intermedio. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ah, no, just the reading. No, that's fine then. All right. Okay. So that's one less. So only six people are pending, guys. No sé si está pendiente, quédense, porfa, conectados y terminen el examen, porfa. Si tienen preguntas, me escriben, pero terminemos hoy, por favor. If you have any questions, let me take a picture. Smile, say cheese. All right. There it is. Thank you. If you have questions, let me know. Please, let's finish tonight. Thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Hey, thanks. Bye. 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 Pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye.